If you look at food packaging, you will notice that it gives information about all the nutrients that are in the food. In this video, we are going to look at how scientists use food tests to work out what nutrients are present in food. The food tests that we will look at in this video are the tests for starch, a complex carbohydrate, sugar, a simple carbohydrate, protein, and lipids, fats and oils. When preparing a food test, you would crush up the food using a pestle and mortar. You would then place it into a test tube and add a few drops of water to make a food solution. When testing for starch, you would add a few drops of iodine to the food solution. If starch is present, the iodine will turn from orange to black. When testing for sugar, you would add a few drops of Benedict's solution to the food solution. You would place it in a water bath at 75 degrees C. If sugar is present, there will be a colour change from blue to orange. You may also see some different colour changes depending on how much sugar is in the food solution. For example, if there's a little bit of sugar, you might just see a colour change from blue to green. The most common colour change is from blue to orange, so that's the one that you need to remember. If there is lots of sugar present, you may also see a colour change from blue to a brick red colour. To test for protein, you would add a few drops of Biorette solution to the food solution. If protein is present, there will be a colour change from blue to light purple. When testing for solid lipids, you would rub the food on filter paper and hold the paper up to the light. If the paper is translucent, the food contains lipids. For lipids that are in solution, there are two different food tests that you could use. The first one is that you could add a few drops of ethanol to the test tube containing the food solution. Shake the test tube and if fats are present, they will dissolve in the ethanol. You then pour the first test tube into a second test tube containing water. The fats do not dissolve in water, so if fats are present, the solution will turn cloudy. A different test that you could use for testing for lipids in solution is to add a few drops of Sudan 3 solution to the test tube containing the food solution. If lipids are present, a thin red layer will appear at the top of the solution. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.